welcome to oh my gosh i was gonna say we didn't have chocolate this time but we have chocolate well you know song makes me hungry can i just feel amazing sister yes oh, you beautiful here that's really hot <gasps> now that everyone has their chocolate let's get started after chew first now that we've had chocolate we're ready to start part two of the sewing project Woo! last episode we cut out the pattern we went fabric shopping well I will say before Ellen and I went fabric shopping Ellen went fabric shopping on her own yeah and she bought this beautiful fabric it's got little owls but on it it's chiffon so it's really floaty so it's highly so inappropriate I, I learned a lesson that you actually have to pay attention to the pattern you were using and it tells you what kind of fabric to use. Yeah. So you can't just go buy Sn pretty owls. The requirements for the pattern that we're using is specifically stiff fabric. So, <laughs> for another project. So instead, we went out together and we got this exciting shiny fabric. <laughs> 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 um, so it's like a bronzy... I actually have a skirt out of a fabric like this, but it's a, my one's a bit paler. Yeah, this, this one's a bit richer, red. chocolatey brown. Oh, nice. It's gonna look mm. um, so we're making the shirt out of this. Kind of reminds us of a um, of a was it stolen girlfriends? Yeah, we saw top. this really cool stolen girlfriends kind of um, singlet crop top, and it had mm. this really cool stuff, like kind stuff. of stuff, leathery <laughs> fabric. So we think this will be similar. So that's the vibe. I also may have gotten stolen girlfriends in spite fabric. <laughs> Red leopard print. So hot right and now. And leopard print. You may see something made out of this on the blog in the future. Stay tuned. We have our fabric, so now we are going to, I don't know, what are we going to do, Tara? We're going to pin the pattern on, cut it out, and then pin it together. Sounds simple, but something is bound to go wrong with me. It'll be fine. Let's get started. So, this is the center front piece. And it goes on a fold. So we're going to need to fold the fabric. Can you on fold? Yes. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Revolutionary. You can just take them. <laughs> um, and we need the seam allowance. So you need to do a seam allowance. So the seam allowance is a little bit of extra space for the sewing to go between. I don't know, it'll make sense later. So it goes about one two minutes out. So you just need to make sure you leave a little bit of extra space up here. Because this fabric is kind of thick and if you push a pin through it, the pin hole will kind of stay there. We're going to be putting as little pins as possible. go through here and then out the other side. It's sitting pretty well with just those three things, so we might just leave it. Normally we put them more, but be fine. Right? This one. Okay. So this one's, uh, it's not on a fold, but it's on straight grain, so we have to make sure it lines up with this edge here. That's good. Does the straight grain go this way? Uh, it goes up and down, like this way. See how the lines of the fabric's the good thing? to be is like the edge of the salvage edge. It's like coming down. So we could even line it up with that edge. That's quite good. Um, well, you want your seam allowance, so a little bit extra. Normally you'd measure it, but you know. So we're all pinned out, and now we're going to cut it out. <laughs> It's gonna help you match up the pieces.
Like your catchphrase in this video. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I love my golem. Oh, golem. Oh, precious. I had my handbag. I bought a new handbag today. It's sitting over there. You have to keep cutting and I'll show them my bag. It's like an intermission for everyone but me. Oh my gosh, don't cut it. This is my new bag. It's very pretty. And it's got a laptop case in here. And it's built into the bag. And then it's got all these pockets. And it's got lipid print lining. So obviously I'm very excited. I'll put it here so I can stare at it. Take it out. So the first step is to stitch the darts, but we're just going to pin them. So you need the right sides to get them. Okay, and then we're just going to pin them so that they stay in place. Oops. This fabric's hard to pin. Who chose this fabric? So when we sew it, we're going to sew it like at an angle there. Ah, I picked myself. The shoulder seam. The right pieces have to go together. The right sides. This is the right side. This is the right side. Do you want me to show you a pinning trick? A better way to pin it, it's like vertical. So that when you're coming along with the sewing machine this way, you can just pull it out the side instead of having to like pull it towards the sewing machine and get all. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then the other shoulder is over here. It's a little bit crooked. <laughs> Who cut this? But you know, that happens. Just line it up best you can. So we've done all our sewing preparation. We've got all our pinnings ready, so we're ready we're coming for you. It's <laughs> the end. Dun dun dun. Till Til next, next time. time. <laughs> Remember to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tweet us. We like Twitter. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part three. And we are going to actually use the sewing machine in the next one. So that's the fabric. Put your phone down, girl. Oh my gosh, can't So hot, I'm sweating. Why did I wear pants? I hate sewing. Look happy. Coming up next on the sewing project. Coming up next on the sewing project. Oh no, drama! Not blood orange. It's a fucking red. Blood orange. She's so pretentious. Stay tuned for part three. I nearly did a four. Welcome to the new revenge shop stuff. You can be your favorite vlogs or just really big dinosaur comments, comments. Give it a, give it a bit of